Hi, welcome to the handover video for the Heimer B704 on a 2020 plate. So we'll start by going around the passenger side. So on the passenger side here you have your diesel flap, you have your, habit, your cab door entrance and the passenger side here. You've got an external locker here, with access through to the inside from here. And then this is your boiler drain, and as the wee description says, this is your frost protection valve as well, this wee blue that dot down the bottom so that protects your boiler in the winter your boiler flue is here, the right hand side you got a nice wee wet locker which goes all the way through the van through the other side there and then just lock them up you have your water infill here, just for your ordinary hose then you have your gas locker here it takes two six kilogram bottles. Pull this lever up here, and it's on a tray for pulling it out. It comes out and lets you put your two bottles in, and something flips back into place. There, you have access to your garage this side, your reverse camera up the top. And then access to your garage from this side, which again is all the way through the van. You've got some shelves here, your hookup cable, that's your old skylight after having the air conditioning put in, your awning winder, your level ramps, your carpets for inside, and then your toolbox for your jack, your wheel brace, and your tone eye. A couple of sockets in here as well. And then that's simply closed over, pushed in, that's it locked up. Then you have your electric hookup point here, all the weights of the van here that you should need. Then you've got your toilet cassette here, simply lift this lever up here, extract your toilet cassette and then dump it in the septic tank on the site. Your fridge vent. Just the right hand side and then your locker which goes all the way through the van in from the other side. And there we go. Get them locked. Your step for entrance to your habitation side. Your awning at the top here and then your awning winder. There we go. So that's your backup wider because it's an electric awning, that's your backup handle and then obviously no door on this side. And as you enter inside the van, left hand side you have a switch for your steps, you've got your light switches just here and above the door you have your main control panel and you have your heating and hot water control panel. So your heating and hot water, heating comes from the V picture of the motorhome, how hot do you want it inside, then come across to here, how are you going to power it, gas, mixture of gas and electricity or electricity independently, and to the left of that is your hot water, so you have eco 40 degrees, hot 60, boost 70 degrees, and again, how are you going to power it, gas, mixture, electricity, then you have a timer down the bottom, your clock set, and then you have your settings, Centigrade and Fahrenheit, brightness of this wee control panel, 12 hour, 24 hour clock, the language, and then reset if you ever need to do any reset on it. And we control panel here, press this button in, lights up green, and then you just cycle through your options. That tells you your water, tells you your battery, your race water, your leisure battery, Tells you what that is. This is the control for your awning, and this is the control for your air conditioning. As I say, you've got your light switches dotted about here. Puts all your light switches on. Then you have your three ring gas burner just inside here. Your wash hand basin, and your controls for your rings. Your shower to the right hand side, and to the left hand side you have your toilet, wash hand basin, medicine cabinet and you've got a plug socket in here as well. 
next to that you have your hanging wardrobe a nice wee light in there as well and then underneath the bed a bit of storage here extra cushion for making up the info bit in the middle here so you have a transverse bed as well as the two single beds you pull that out and then the, this bit here does the infill and then this ladder comes down here and that gives you your full size double underneath here storage underneath this step and then underneath this one here is access to your fresh water tank should you need to drain it from in here cupboards one here three above the rear one above this side and then your brand new air conditioning unit your usb sockets in the back that you asked for and um, the sliding door here uncut from here always make sure it's secure when you're traveling Likewise, your shower door always make sure that's closed while you're traveling as well. Light switch for your bathroom just outside it. USB sockets in the front here, beside your power sockets here as well, as requested. And inside your cab, automatic box, your nice Pioneer head unit, your reverse camera screen over there. That's your habitation paperwork, your MOT paperwork and your after sales information your mirror controls over here and your electric window these seats here simply push forward by tilting this and then you need to put the seats down like that when you want to pull the bed down and that's simply unclip that and then pull it down and that comes down to give you a huge double bed in here unfortunately couldn't do anything with your table so what we do with the fittings down here and every other table we've seen had more than four screw hole fittings and to do it properly we would obviously have to finish it off and then repurpose it and um, the workshop said no so um, your other alternative would be to get a joiner to take this bit this frame off and make a new worktop for you in the style that you wanted that would be your alternative but unfortunately we don't have facilities for doing that and this book here is all your paperwork and um, for how everything works what everything does and that's it and i'll see you tomorrow oh your fridge forgot about your fridge may as well do your fridge so up here you can see I'll open the freezer door your own button here you see it all springs into life and then automatic will automatically detect the best signal You've got your battery there for when you're driving, hook up for when you're hooked up, and then you've got your levels here for how cold you want it, and then you simply hold that button back in again, and that powers it off. Above that, you have your small oven grill, so as you can see, it's left hand side for your oven, and right hand side for your grill, and um, maybe handy to take out these wee railway things when you're driving. And I'll see you tomorrow.